And Paul, normally I would say we're we're lucky on this side of the West Coast, but uh, we are we had our own tropical storm just a few weeks ago. Yeah, California had a tropical storm before Florida. Wow. In 2023, which is just not Sorry. something that you ever expect to happen. And it's not just going to be a tropical storm; it's going to be a hurricane. Because mm -hmm. the conditions the are so. I mean, the wa water is so warm, and right. it just has no so, chance of weakening. Right? Warm water, the winds and the atmosphere above it are favorable for it to continue to strengthen. Let's take a look at where it is right now. The satellite perspective, the wide view. There's actually a couple of storms out there. Idalia is the one in between the Yucatan Peninsula and Cuba. This is Hurricane Franklin, which is going to stay out in the middle of the open ocean. But Idalia is the one that is likely to become a major concern for the Gulf Coast of Florida as it continues to strengthen and move to the north. Right now, just barely below hurricane strength. It's likely going to get there later tonight and it will continue to strengthen to a Category 3 hurricane before it makes landfall up the coast from Tampa. But Tampa is going to be on the right side of the path of Idalia and the wind flows counterclockwise around these storms, which means the storm surge is going to be heading right into Tampa Bay. That's why already those evacuations are in effect to the north of Tampa. Some of the low lying areas we're also talking about inundating rainfall on top of a landscape that just kind of tends to collect the rain. So this is going to be a major story over the next few days, likely to make landfall by Wednesday morning. Around here, well, we're going to be warm for the next couple of days. Air quality is going to be something of a concern. We talked about that a few minutes ago. We're going to be still experiencing some gusty conditions along the coast, but the winds are going to die down enough on Wednesday for even coastal temperatures to get up to around 70 degrees. High temperatures are going to peak for everybody on Wednesday, and then we back down quickly to below average temperatures as we head into Labor Day weekend. The heat risk tomorrow is not going to be out of control. There are going to be some patches of moderate heat risk on Tuesday. That really expands on Wednesday, but no red splotches showing up indicating a high heat risk. So even as hot as it's going to be, it's not going to be dangerously hot for most people. Now, anybody with heat sensitivities because of health issues, that's a whole different story. But the heat is going to subside beginning already Thursday. And the long range forecast also shows a significant chance of below average temperatures. The six to 10 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center takes us past Labor Day weekend and the eight to 14 day outlook, which takes us all the way through the first third of September, a good chance of below average temperatures to begin the month of September. Whole different story than what we had early last September when we were setting heat records all across the Bay Area and all across California. Temperatures out there right now, warm to hot inland. 80s in San Jose and Santa Rosa, 90s in Livermore and Concord, but around the Bay, 60s in San Francisco, 70s right now in Oakland. The fog is not going to be very widespread as we head through the rest of tonight. So expect clear skies for the Giants as they take on the Cincinnati Reds. Game one of their series, first pitch at 645, with temperatures in the 60s throughout the game. Looks like it should be a nice evening. The fog will be very sparse to begin the day tomorrow, which means the sun's energy will go into heating up the atmosphere instead of getting rid of the fog. We start off in the upper 50s and low 60s, which is where we're supposed to be in late August. High temperatures tomorrow, several degrees above average. Upper 70s in San Francisco, mid 80s for Oakland. Inland temperatures, a mix of a few 80s and a lot of 90s, but even the hottest spots are going to stay below 100 degrees. Temperatures will peak on Wednesday. It's only a degree warmer in San Francisco and Oakland from Tuesday to Wednesday. And then we back down. Labor Day is looking good on Monday. The whole Labor Day weekend is going to bring temperatures back down to near average around the Bay and below average inlands. Three straight days of 70s for inland parts of the North Bay and the Santa Clara Valley, then back up to around 80 degrees in those locations on Monday. But even Labor Day, the warmest day of the three day weekend only pushes temperatures up into the mid 80s for those inland parts of the East Bay. Yeah, we can handle that, especially compared to last Labor Day. All right. Thanks, Paul.